Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well. In today's video I am of course doing another Tattoo Enthusiast Reacts to Tattoo TikToks. This is my absolute favourite series to do, this is your favourite series to watch. I am always forever grateful to all of you that do tag me in Tattoo TikToks without you. This series would not be possible, let me tell you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you all so dang much. But before we get into today's video, I'm very excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversations. My best friend Yasmin and I are going on a trip later this year to Disneyland Paris and I want to brush up on my French so I can ask for my favourite cupcakes in French. Seriously, the cupcakes in Disneyland are delicious. It's been many years since I've tried to learn a new language and I remember in school struggling so much to do so. But I find using the Babbel app so entertaining and easy to use. I don't get lost or frustrated while taking any of the lessons. You can take bite-sized lessons on the app, which I enjoy doing so much. I really like the look of them and how easy they are to do. Pardon? Vous êtes Marion? Oui, bien sûr. Oui, bien sûr. Oui, bien sûr. The lessons are designed by real language teachers who make it so easy to learn a new language. Even for people like me who get easily distracted. Ah, oh, Sean. Babbel also has live classes, so if you prefer to learn with people, that option is there for you. And my favourite part of Babbel is the fact that they have podcasts. I am a big podcast listener and listening to a language podcast and learning while you're doing your everyday tasks whether you're cleaning doing your makeup or just relaxing is brilliant and it's so helpful as well j'adore that's it j'adore le vin blanc i love white wine can i also say j'aime le vin blanc of course you can Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks if you could learn any language what would it be Babbel teaches real world conversations so you can learn what is important and useful to you whether you need to learn a new language for business or travel or relationships or you know cupcakes Babbel is definitely for you if you're unsure Babbel does have a 20 day money back guarantee and you can get 60% off by clicking the link down below thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video now let's get on to the crazy side of tattoo tiktok merci now I wouldn't normally do this I always go in order of you know where I am in my favorites from the last time I have filmed a tattoo tiktok and I just work my way up and when I get to a video I get to it right but I have been tagged in one specific video so many dang times. It's This is my most tagged video, let me tell you. And I have been avoiding this video like the plague because some people that I follow on TikTok have reacted to this and I recognise the first sort of two seconds of it from when I put it in my favourites because obviously I don't watch it until I make this video. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh! Just scroll away. By the way, you lot are tagging me in this. I feel like this is probably one of the worst TikToks I will ever see in my whole dang life. I'm just mentally prepare myself and then we'll get back onto schedule. But I, I feel like I just have to get this one done, right? Okay, are we ready? My girlfriend getting my face tired. Oh, God. Okay, so that's the face. There's already some tattoos. It's going on the throat. Are you kidding me? There's no way. There is not one person in the world that I love this much. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just, just no way. Okay. I'm, they look kind of young as well. Like to have this much of a commitment tattoo on their throat. Oh God, it's going right there. And that is not a uh, painless spot. Let me tell you, I've been tattooed in that area. It's not fun. Why are we not using gloves? Where are your gloves? Um, where's the rest of it? Oh, we're doing it in a two part. Okay, fair enough. That sometimes does need to happen. Okay, okay, right. That's that's looking fantastic. Oh, we got gloves now. Okay, we've decided with the gloves. Okay. Oh my gosh, I know how much that hurts. 
It hurts so dang much. What is happening? Oh, that does not look healthy. Oh, this does not look good. Shut the front door. Shut up. You have to be kidding me right now. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> That's real as well. That is 100% real. This is not a fake TikTok. This is... I'm dribbling. This is real. What? Shut the front door. No. Honey. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a psychiatrist because oh my god what that is one of the worst portrait tattoos I've ever seen and it's on their throat on the throat it's so visible like that oh <sighs> What happens if they, I'm not saying they will, I don't want to wish bad feelings on them, but what if they break up, okay? What, what, what do you do then, right? What do you do when you come to your senses and realize that this tattoo is garbage and so badly done? Like, how do you fix that? You either go for laser, which is a whole process and it takes quite a while, or you get a cover up that's really black and heavy because nothing else is gonna cover that. <sighs> I mean, it must be nice to be that in love, you know? <laughs> like I'm in a relationship and I'm not saying I don't love my boyfriend, but I mean, there's just nobody I would love that much to do that kind of thing and to have that bad of quality tattoo on me. Anyone else feel the same way as me? Or are you like, oh, that's really sweet. Tell me, do tell me, tell me. Am I, am I broken? <laughs> you know what? You do you, all right? If you're happy, that's all that matters really, isn't it? If you think about it, like if they're happy, great. Whether we will see a, you know, TikTok in a couple of years time of this person making a story time about the whole situation and them going through a cover-up process or laser process Who knows? I'm not saying it will happen, but there's a high probability. Okay. Wow. Okay Well, thank you so much to everyone that tagged me in that and has ruined my day <laughs> I'm joking. Right. Let's go back to where I was before. I've got to scroll down. Today I'm going to show you how deep your needle needs to go to do a successful palm tattoo So you just put your needle in there That's what it feels like. I can see what they're trying to do here. They're just like, you have to put it in deep or whatever. I know it's a joke, right? But that's what it feels like. It literally feels like that. It feels like the whole machine is just going into your palm and just mushing in there. You know, mixing it up like it's a mashed potato because it hurts so dang bad. I'm having flashbacks, okay? <laughs> Those who don't know, I do have my palm tattooed. And yeah. That's, that's what it feels like. What that looks like is how it feels like, okay? Okay, they're using flowers by Miley Cyrus, so I obviously have to mute this. That's so awesome. I love that placement so much. That is gorgeous. I can buy myself flowers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's one of those songs that I like it, but I hate it at the same time because it's all I freaking hear. But it's so catchy and the song is just so iconic in the music video. And we're not really talking about Miley Cyrus flowers in this video, are we? <laughs> anyway, the tattoo is so awesome. I've seen quite a few of these tattoos that sort of go with a person's body like that. And I love them. They're gorgeous. And it's a great way of celebrating who you are, your body, and just being unashamedly yourself, which is what you should be in 2023. Do not be ashamed of who you are and your body. Celebrate it. Decorate it. Be who you are, okay? Parents' tattoos last forever. Make sure they're meaningful. Okay. Right, left. <laughs> yes. Yes, as someone has a right and left tattoo on their thumbs, I've got an R on this thumb, 
and an L on this thumb because I don't know my left and right or right and left, whichever way you want to say it. And honestly, they're so dang helpful. I look at them more than I should, but they're helpful. They're the most helpful and meaningful tattoos I have, I think. <laughs> so if you need a tattoo that helps you with something that you struggle with every day, hell yeah, go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've actually watched this person's content a few times. So this is Amanda. She went to prison for armed robbery and you watch her content and she seems like the most sweetest, wholesome person. And then she comes out with, yeah, I've been to prison for armed robbery. And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Like, you just wouldn't expect it. But I've seen a couple of her videos. I don't like follow her or anything like that. But a couple have come up on my For You page. And she talks about how she was treated in prison and all of that and it's kind of fascinating but she's done one here that i've been tagged in it's in my favorites obviously and it says what happens if you have tattoos and you go to prison i haven't seen this and i'm very excited <laughs> you have tattoos and you go to prison if you don't know me my name is amanda and i did some time in prison i did two and a half years so my first day of prison i'm sitting across the table from this officer and she's asking me like all these questions and stuff and then she gets to that question like do you have any tattoos and i was like yes she said well where are they and what are they of and i'm like that's a weird question and so i tell her there's like there's rose on my hip she gets out a camera and she's like we're gonna snap a picture so yeah they take a picture of all your tattoos that makes sense i can understand why because obviously tattoos make you more recognizable and they're like a distinctive feature but could you imagine if i or any of you that are kind of heavily tattooed went to prison it would be a photo shoot oh my gosh i will be voguing all over the place i'm like mm -hmm, yeah here 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 <laughs> i think i did actually just touch some places that i'm not tattooed there so don't get confused but it would take so dang long i think the officer would just look at me like it's a monday it's 9 a.m. Why are you here? Like, why Why did it have to be you today <laughs> with all of this? Hey, did you recently get a back tattoo? No. What is that? What is that? Do you have a hard time putting lotion on it because you can't I mean, reach? Yeah, that's a problem. Goddamn T-Rex on. <laughs> what if I told you we invented a device to use on your back for right-handed and left-handed people? Okay. That's right, baby. Ambidextrous. What's up? Introducing... The creamer. Step one, put the lotion on the device. Step two, apply to gentle areas. I mean, it's a genius idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get it all nice and creamy back there. <laughs> and step three, you're done. Amazing. You no longer have to ask your uncle to help you. <laughs> it's like, oh God, TikTok is, it's a place, isn't it? It's, 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 it's a place. <laughs> I mean, it's a genius idea. I think I think that and the TikTok I reacted to, I don't know which one it was, where someone had a whip and they used it to itch their back. So when you get an itchy tattoo, obviously you should scratch it or itch it, but you can give it a little light tap because that subsides the itchiness. And this person was just using this whip to itch their new back tattoo. And I was like, that is, that's genius because yeah trying to heal a back tattoo and if you've got no help around you like no one to help cream you up <laughs> it's a nightmare hi you guys hi. i just realized i never showed you guys i got my first colored tattoo okay. i'm a black and gray girly but i got a colored tattoo because i just seen one and i was like i need it since it's my one and only color tattoo i decided to make it actually have a meaning Cute. like okay. wow for once my tattoo has a meaning it's still funny though so like just wait so I drove like six hours Dang. to go to an artist in Palm Bay. His name is Rob Walsh. I asked him for a Bob's Burgers tattoo oh, yes. with a tattoo machine in full color. And I told him, do his thing. Okay. <gasps> Yo! Do you see it? It's Louise. It's Louise in anime style. That is so full cool. Full color what? with American traditional tattoos yes. in my CNC machine. Oh, I love that so dang much. And it to me, it's so inspirational to see someone that is covered in like black work, black and gray tattoos, kind of venture out and get color. Cause I do get asked that a lot with people that are either covered in color tattoos or covered in black and gray, black work tattoos. And they're like, I kind of want to venture out and do the opposite of what I have, but is it going to look weird? And I always say no, but that's because I feel like everyone should appreciate whatever art they want. 
I feel like there should be absolutely no rules when it comes to tattoos. If you want loads of realism tattoos and then you all of a sudden get a traditional tattoo and it's just there on its own, who cares? First of all, it's your body. You do what you want with it. If you want to appreciate one type of art, all different types of art, all types of colours or one colour, but you want to spice it up and have something different, go for it. There is literally no rules. Like, I feel like a lot of people look at tattoos like they look at fashion, you know, people always say, we well, can't dress like this, you can't wear this with that. No, tattoos, do what you want. I mean, I feel like fashion should be like that as well. But, you know what I mean? Like, don't feel like you have to be in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. Go out of the box, explore, go running, be free. Tattooing and noticing your client is looking rough. Oh no, oh no. Hey, you all right? Oh no, yeah, I think I need to go pee. Okay, don't get up without me. Hold on, client. Ah! <laughs> no, oh no. <laughs> I'm sure that happens quite often because your body is just going through some things, you know, and it can be a shock to the system for whatever reason, you know, low blood sugar levels, adrenaline's crashing, maybe you haven't eaten enough, it could be due to low blood pressure as well, you can all of a sudden just go whoosh, you could just come over all faint. So if you ever find yourself in this situation, listen to the tattoo artist, don't just get up, you might need some assistance. So if it does happen to you, don't be embarrassed because again, it's one of those things that just can happen. I am currently on the way to get my face tattoos removed. Oh my goodness, okay. Three, two, oh, one. No. Oh. Oh no, oh god, oh. oh that's gonna be so spicy. They're taking it so well. They're not even it's flinching. The and my face is very swollen. I have a lot more sessions to go and I am very excited to see what I look like at the end. Pain was a four out of 10. Okay, fair enough. I mean, obviously I don't know why they're getting their tattoos are removed i feel like it's probably none of my business it's nobody's business they don't owe anyone a explanation because it's their body or whatever but oh getting face tattoos removed that's that's huge and this is why i've always debated about ever getting a face tattoo because that is like the end game for me like if i get my face tattooed like that's there forever and ever and ever and ever it's such a big commitment I have had my eyebrows tattooed and I have had freckles pan poked onto my face, but that's like a cosmetic thing. It's not like really drastic. It's not a piece of art or whatever. Yeah, it just makes you realize that, oh, something can change in you to make you feel like, oh, I don't want this anymore. Oh, that's so scary. Oh. <laughs> Disney tattoo designs, but dark realism. Oh my gosh, yes, give it to me. Milan, okay. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love. Oh, I love dark, spooky horror tattoos, but then mix it in with Disney. Oh, iconic. Oh my God, you guys, I have to tell you about what happened last night when I went to go get a tattoo with my okay. friends. My eyebrows are like super disgusting right now, so we're gonna wax them and I'm gonna do a, like a quick little makeup look while I tell you what happened. Okay. But first, let me just buckle you in because this is a ride. So last night, my friend Hannah was texting and she was like, I'm gonna go get a tattoo, let's go get tattoos. So me, Hannah, and my friend Cruz went to go get tattoos. We just looked on Google really quick and found a random shop that had pretty good reviews and their work looked good. So we we're like, let's just go here. Say what you want about it, but this is the tattoo oh, that no. I wanted. It's really cute oh, no. and I don't know, I just like sad girl shit. So this is the one that I picked. <sighs> So don't be taking other people's up to me. Off. He says his name is Nick and asks Red flag me what I want to get, and I show him that picture. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. He asks me where I want it, and I told him that I wanted it above my forearm and I wanted it smaller. So I wanted it right here. Right off the bat, he seems kind of nervous about it, and he's telling me, like, it's a really small area to work with, with mm -hmm. all that detail, and he's not sure about it, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, for sure, um, fine, whatever, you're right, we'll change the position, so I tell him we can do it on the inside of my arm. Okay. He's like, okay, perfect, it's gonna be 360, and I'm gonna go print it right now, and we can do it. I'm like, okay, great, so I go downstairs, and the first thing that I notice on this dude's wall, while he's getting the stencil and stuff ready, is that it's all American traditional, and I'm like do you specialize in American traditional? And he's like, yeah, I do. And I'm thinking, why would you take me as a client knowing that I want something black and white and with a lot of detail and fine work when you do American traditional? Not saying that he couldn't do it. I'm just saying I want someone who specializes in black and white or fine stuff like that. 
I'm gonna pause it here right now because I feel I just can't keep my mouth shut. It's impossible for me. This just screams, I have not done my research and I just want to go to the tattoo artist that can take me ASAP. Like I would never dream of walking into a tattoo studio and asking for something that this tattoo artist doesn't specialize in. You know, I've researched my tattoo artists. I go to tattoo artists that specialize in what I want. So yeah, okay, maybe this tattoo artist has maybe messed up by taking something that they don't specialize in. But if it's a slow day, if the artist has no clients, they're probably just gonna take it because, you know, of course, it's a red flag. Please, for the love of cupcakes, do your research on your artists. Don't, 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 you're just setting yourself up for failure here. I promise you, please go to artists that specialize in things. Don't be like, well, I'm aware that this artist doesn't specialize in this thing, but I'm gonna go ahead with it, maybe. I don't know, we haven't watched all of it. And then I'm gonna be the one to complain. Like, what do you expect? What do you expect? You're aware that this artist doesn't specialize in the style that you want. And second of why are you, why, why are you asking for someone else's artwork on your body? That, oh, tattoo copying, art stealing, whatever you want to call it, makes me so dang angry. Like if this person did this properly, did their research, went to an artist that specializes in fine line black work tattoos, and they said to this artist that they find, hi, I'd very much like these, whatever they're called, can you do something like this? Show the picture, then the artist, who specializes in all of this kind of thing, would take that as inspiration and then design this person something unique to them and you're not, you know, ripping anyone off here in this situation. Like, okay, oh, breathe. I've got to breathe. <laughs> so then he puts the stencil on and he puts it over here. And I'm like looking at it and it's huge and it looks terrible. And I'm just like, could you move it more this way? And he's like, no, then it's gonna be in your armpit. He was starting to catch an attitude with me and getting more aggressive with every reply. I'm just looking at it and looking at it and he's like, are you ready? Are you ready yet? Are you ready? Like, is this good? And I'm just looking at it because I'm trying to process what we could do to fix it because I don't like it in that position. So I'm just like, um, yeah. And then he like starts to like almost go down and I'm like, hold on. And he's like, what? And I'm just like, okay. So I'm like, um, let me get up real quick. I want to look at it in the mirror real quick. I just want to look at it. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. I prefer if you did that actually. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so that to me is an artist red flag. If a client says to you, I don't like where this is for me, can we move it? And the artist is like, no. Or doesn't explain in high detail as to why it would be a bad idea to move it to the position the client wants. So the tattoo artist said it's gonna be in your armpit, which I don't understand why that would be a problem if it was moved from like, say here to here or wherever. Because I know sometimes the tattoo artist will say, no, I can't put it here because where it's going to be, it's going to warp too much. It's going to be pretty unreadable for the majority of the time. It seems like this artist is just being a little bit lazy right now, you know, because I mean, it is a pain to take off a stencil and then put it back on. You know, it's kind of messy. It adds more steps to your process, but this is a permanent bit of art you have to be patient with clients because clients know what they want. They're entitled to what they want unless you feel as a professional, it's just not gonna look right. Then I feel like an artist does have a say, you know, cause they're just looking out for you. But to be so rude about it, that's a red flag for me. That was the end of the TikTok, but I'm gonna see if I can find part two. There's three parts to this. I found part two and part one, but I feel like we need to know, right? I cannot leave you hanging. I can't leave me hanging. So this tattoo artist puts the stencil there and I don't like the position. So I get up to look at it in the mirror and it looks terrible. It does not look good at all. And I turn to my friend, Hannah, who's getting tattooed next to me. And I'm like, Hannah, like, what do you think of this? Does this look good? And she's just like, mm, can you move it up more? And again, this dude's like, no, cause then it'll be in her armpit. And I'm just like, no, it's not. Like you could literally move the position. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't want it this big and I don't want it here. Let's go back to this idea and I show him this picture. I had originally showed this to him when I was showing him examples of how it's tattooed on people. And even though it wasn't what I wanted exactly, I was willing to settle for this because he said that he could do it. This dude is still catching an attitude with me and he's like, so you don't want the big eyes? And I was like, no, like you could do this instead. I'll settle for this. And he's just like, okay, get on the table. I'll just draw it. I'm thinking like, no, like I want you to print it. I want it to be perfect, exactly like this picture. I don't want you freehanding it. 
And so he starts freehanding it, but he starts drawing it here with a yellow sharpie and i'm like um excuse me could you actually do it up here because i was trying to hide it from my mom as long as possible and he's like okay just so you know you said you wanted it here you pointed here so you want it here and that was the last of it like i am not i don't know who he thought he was but he's not gonna catch an attitude with me and talk to me like that so i was like um actually i don't want the tattoo anymore it's cool and i get up and i start like putting my um sweater back on and he's like what wait you don't want it why not and i'm just like because like i'd rather have it printed and like i just don't want to do like the freehand drawing and he's like no no no. i could go print it for you i could go print it like no problem like i could do the tattoo and i'm just like no like in my head i'm like you gave me the fucking egg you're hella rude you're aggressive as fuck i know you're, you don't know what you're, fuck you're doing so no and, you know i was like oh no thank you i'm okay i don't want it anymore thank you though so I go back upstairs and I'm talking to my friend Cruz about his tattoo and the dude comes back and he's just like, just so you know, I don't have anything going on. I really wouldn't mind printing it for you and putting it on you. And even if you don't want to get it, just showing you how it would look. And I'm just like, no, thank you. And he's like, okay, for sure. After we leave, my friend Hannah was just like, dude, what was wrong with your guy? Why was he being so aggressive towards you? And I was like, dude, he literally was being so mean for no reason and intimidating and aggressive. So this morning I was telling my coworkers about it and it got me really pissed off that someone would act like that and i was like i don't want anyone else falling for this or dealing with this guy so i'm gonna put a yelp review and i put a really long yelp review let me show you oh lord pause to read oh lord oh lord shall i read first of all let me just put my thoughts and opinions out here okay, so yeah the artist does seem like a bit of a a-hole let's be serious but i'm getting red flags as well from this person because they're basically, it seems like they're just desperate to get a tattoo in this situation, which isn't good in my opinion. There's been no research. They'll take any tattoo at this point. They're willing to copy artwork from wherever they're finding this stuff, probably Pinterest. Like I was saying, this person would get their perfect tattoo if they had just researched and just had a little bit of patience, you know? Okay, I've just quickly read through the review. Uh, there's no point in me reading it because it's basically what this person has just said. So we'll go to part three. All right, part three. So after I left that Yelp review, like the super long lengthy one about my shitty experience with this shitty tattoo artist being so aggressive to me, not even 10 minutes later, the owner messages me on Yelp. These are also in the last post, but I'm just going to show them real quick and pause to read it if you want to read it. All right, so here's the first one. Pause to read. Here's the second one. Pause to read. And here's the third one. Pause to read. Okay, so after that review, I get a message from the tattoo shop owner and oh my god, I was freaking shook. Let me show you. When okay, I wait, I need to read what they said. It says, hi, my name is Britton and I'm the owner of blank. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience at my shop. This is not what we're about and I want to make you happy. First thing I want to do is refund your money for the tattoo. I also want to personally take care of you and fix the tattoo you got and give you another tattoo for free. I'm really sorry this happened. We are also letting go of Nick today, if that's any comfort, sincerely, Britain. Wait, so did they actually get the tattoo? The reason that that dude got let go, like, that was probably his, like, last strike or something. And I could see it because he was an asshole. But karma's only a bitch if you are. And then this was just my reply. I honestly was shook that he did that, but it, I think it shows that he cares a lot about his business. So it was really sweet of him. And then he replied just letting me know like he does really care about his business and he doesn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable and that I could still get a free tattoo if I wanted to, which I'm good. I don't really want to, but it was really sweet of him to do that and it shows that he cares a lot about his business. So I don't want to say like anything bad about his business. I think it was just a tattoo artist. I know I have a steel backbone, so I know I could speak up for myself, but I know that there's people out there who probably wouldn't and they would feel intimidated by this guy and how aggressive he was being and they would probably get a botched fucked up tattoo no matter what always speak up for yourself don't let anyone pressure you into doing or getting something that you don't want and people do it all the time in stores sells many people but at the end of the day especially with a tattoo it's going to be on you forever so fuck whoever is pressuring you or being rude to you do what you want to do because i know that there are some people who would have let him tattoo them and what pisses me off is that there were other tattoo artists there that specialize in black and white and fine detail tattoos and he didn't refer me to them. He just wanted to make his little 360, his little buck real quick and he didn't care about me as a person.
also he was like no photos or videos while i tattoo and i'm like that's fine you know every tattoo artist makes their own rules but i really wanted to share the experience with you guys so i was kind of bummed that he said that and then i'm like now i know why you said that because you were going to give me a fucked up tattoo don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and speak up okay i have feelings and thoughts so by the sounds of things this tattoo artist probably does have a past of being problematic that's why he's probably been fired so there was probably things that he's done before he's had complaints before so yeah the tattoo artist like i said was probably a bit of an a-hole but i still firmly believe that this person should have just researched to start off with that go to an artist that specializes in this kind of thing but then again a tattoo artist that probably doesn't feel comfortable doing a certain style shouldn't be you know taking on a client doing that kind of style however you feel about it it's up to you the thing that made me feel a bit uh, about this person is the fact that the tattoo artist requested no photos and no videos. That should be end of discussion, okay? If someone doesn't want you taking videos and photos of them, that's it, that's it, respect it. People have boundaries. Some people just don't want to be all over the internet or some people just are having a bad day. They're doing their job. If they aren't comfortable with having a camera shoved in their face or in their workstation or whatever, then, that's fine we should respect that so i think this is a lesson for them and all of you <laughs> to research your tattoo artist and uh respect boundaries and all of that i don't know when i hear fine line tattoos don't heal well okay two months two months is nothing one year is nothing two years healed is nothing and there's loss of definition in that four and a half years healed this is nothing this is <laughs> hate this kind of content so dang much like even four and a half years is not enough to prove that fine line tattoos are a good idea and that's a big fine line tattoo as well so there's plenty of room in there for that tattoo to grow but there was one there with the rose the definition is slowly disappearing with that that was probably very defined and saturated and all of that when it was first done because we don't get to see a comparison, which is kind of weird to me. It's best to have a, you know, when the tattoo is fresh and then what it looks like now comparison. But sometimes people don't do that because of course, if you compare, people are gonna be like, okay, well that's changed a lot, but that's okay. Tattoos are allowed to change because that's what they do. You don't need to be hiding it. But this whole, oh well, yes, my tattoos have been healed for two months. Two months in comparison to 60 years that this person could possibly have the tattoo is nothing, okay? Come back when you have a tattoo that's been healed for 20 years and then we can talk. <laughs> oh gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh bless him. That was 10 out of 10 good content. I enjoyed that so much. Okay, I'm gonna to react to one more for this video. Getting a tattoo at the airport. No. Really? Is there a studio? What? No, please stop it. Please stop. Are you joking? Stop it. Oh no. Oh, that's not great really, is it? What? 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 I Surely you can't. Taking needles on a flight is not the best idea, but then I don't know, is it? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'll be honest with you. Surely that's a security risk or something? Maybe not, because then I guess some people do need some medical needles for like medical reasons, so. Oh. But still. <sighs> Why an airport? How many, ooh, gross. I mean, are airports dirty? I mean, they're not the cleanest of places because there's so many people like, oh, kids. No offense to kids. You know, they're always snotty and touching things, you know, and like it just, it screams cross contamination. It doesn't seem like a good idea in any way, shape or form. But hey, for the content, right? Woo, yeah, fantastic. Oh my Lord, I won't lie to you. All of that has been exhausting for me. You know, that's probably one of the wildest TikTok reaction videos I've done in a while, mainly because of the first one. <laughs> 
I am still not recovered because of that. Let me tell you, that was a lot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and a big thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video as well. And until my next one, bye.